if any of you guys had any questions about constant torque versus centralist vector um, I'm about to do my best to demonstrate the uh, difference between the two I've got this adjustable power supply turned about as low as I can get it turned turn down and I just currently just have it unplugged here um, we have this thing set up to read the amount of Hertz that being outputted to the motor basically the speed so we're going to plug this up all right, it's, it's putting out about less than that. Just a little less than one hurt. All right. And there's a the motor shaft that's turning. That's in centralist vector mode. And I cannot, I cannot stop the shaft. I'm squeezing as hard as I can, as I can squeeze, and it, it's not phasing it. Not at all. Alright, I'm going to unplug the power from it. Uh, I'm going to try to do this for you guys can see. I'm going to lay the, the phone down for just a moment to unplug my wire so I can program it. Okay, I got the wire unplugged. Alright, let's go to our A menu. We have to scroll up to I think it's 44. All right, 44 hits set. And 03 on the Hitachi WJ200 is the centralist vector. Um, we go to zero, that's the factory default setting, which is constant torque. We'll hit set. That's entered. We'll go back to our escape key. And then we will scroll through and go to our monitor our hertz again. We'll plug up our, well, I got to hook up our, our little jumper wire so we can turn the motor on. So I'll lay the phone down for just a second. Alright, got the jumper wire hooked up, it's in uh, run mode, and I'm basically just going to plug this back in, I haven't touched the power supply setting, I just plugged it in. And you see you got the 0.99 hertz displayed, see the shaft turning, this is constant torque mode, look at there. I can turn it backwards, that's constant torque mode. So if you guys had any questions, um, you know, how you want to set your VFD up, centralist vector is the way to go. Because if you had a lathe uh, or milling machine and you had a fair, a fair size reamer that you wanted to ease into a hole and it took a little torque to turn it or a big tap, you wanted to tap a hole and you wanted to go real slow, the centralist vector would certainly have the, the torque to uh, potentially do that over the... Um, constant torque setting I can grab that with my bare hand and I can spin it backwards easy peasy anyway I hope this video helps some of you guys uh, buy the centralist vector VFDs and make sure you program them and get them set up that way and you'll have all the power you need throughout the RPM range hope this helps